Ready? All right, everybody, this is the drawing for the worldwide grip battle, no excuses, to be held around the world on February 5th, 2022. Hopefully this live stream works well because we have very poor internet here. So I wanna go over the process of what we're gonna do today. I have received 18 nominations for events to be held at Worldwide Grip Battle, and we're going to put them all into this container, shake it up, and then my daughter, JC, is going to pull the ballots out for all the events, and we're going to select one pinch event, one thick bar event, and then two miscellaneous events. The miscellaneous events are events that are not pinch or thick bar. So to begin, I'm going to read everyone who submitted a ballot, a nomination, to give you an idea of who is involved right now. Now, once the events are selected, if anyone wants to bow out of the competition, they don't want to buy the equipment if they don't have it, that's fine. That event is still going to be held in the contest. Conversely, if anyone learns about this contest that didn't know about it beforehand, likes the events and wants to throw in, then you can join. All you have to do is contact me and I'll get you all the information that you need to know. So again, JC will pull the entry. Also what I've got here is a line that is highlighted. So JC will pull the entry and she will read the text that is highlighted and then she will hand me the ballot and I'll read the rest of it because there's some names on here that she might not have seen before. Sound like a good deal? Yeah. Okay. So again, we are choosing one pinch device, one pinch event, one thick bar event, one, and then two miscellaneous events. Let's go ahead and read the events now. You'll see here the container is totally empty. Nothing in there. Also, since I am in this selection process, I am not submitting any event whatsoever. So, in no particular order, these are the contest promoters and the events that they submitted. In the open hand thick bar category, Adam Glass, he'll be running at Adam's Place in Weathered Weatherford, Texas, he nominated two and three eighths wrist wrench. So I'm going to fold it in half. JC will fold it in half again and throw it in the container. Next up from Thomas Larson in Norway, three inch trilobite for another thick bar event. Next up, Emmanuel Marizis from Dynamo Alliance in Athens, Greece. He submitted the hub, so that'll be a miscellaneous event. Mike Saffel from Bethesda, Ohio at Saffel Performance nominated the Cam Assassin. So that's in the miscellaneous category. Next, Frank Chaudoin, that's probably pronounced incorrectly. He's in Van Vancouver, Washington at Couch Potato Strong and he nominated Two inch country crush. Next up, we have Glenn Crutley from Melbourne, Australia, and he nominated one hand flask for the pinch category. Next up, Arto Jaronin from Garage Gym in Lumaki, Finland. He nominated two hands pinch on the flask in the pinch category. Next up, Brian Hunsacker at the Free Gym in Salt Lake City, Utah. He nominated the Denny Ring Lift, and that's going to be in the miscellaneous category. Joel Dirks is up next. Torque Barbell in Woodbury, Minnesota. He nominated Two Hand Flask in the Pinch category. Next up, Michael Wilfong. Palouse Grip Sport Gym in Spokane, Washington. He nominated two-hand pinch flask. 
pinch category. Next up, Brad Provick from Metal Performance Training in Saskatchewan, Canada. And he, uh, he nominated the two-hand flask pinch. Struggle. Next up, Joseph Hodgson at Joe's Grip Garage in Sydney, Australia. He nominated the flask two-hand pinch. Next up, Josh Culpepper at Culpepper Gym in Troy, Illinois. He nominated the two and a half inch crusher for the thick bar category. Next up, Glenn Hunter, Melbourne, Australia. One hand flask pinch, pinch category. Next, we have Eric Roussain, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Three inch monster crush in the thick bar category. As JC is pitch, uh, picking these out, if multiple pinch events get chosen, they are going to be just put off to the side. Next up, Ari Talonen. The venue is in Harvinpa, Finland. And he nominated the two hand pinch on the flask in the pinch category. Next up is Santeria McConan, Gripageddon Gym in Kusumo, Finland. He nominated Finnish Ball. That'll be in the miscellaneous category. Next up, and the final ballot is for Alexander Andreev, and he also nominated the Finnish Ball in the miscellaneous category. Okay, real good. So we're going to just mix this up because there's a lot on the bottom. Make sure when you go in there and grab them, you, you know, mix them up every single time. All right. Yep. I'll hold it and she can pick it. Okay. Go ahead and put the lid on, shake it up a little bit. All right, so now we're at the most important point of the video. The picking. So I've got just a sheet here. And you can see it says pinch, thick bar, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. She's just going to pick. Hopefully we get four good events, four good qualifying events here in the first four picks. But if we get a bunch of repeats of pinch and thick bar, then we'll just keep picking. Mix it every single time, okay? okay. Mix, mix, mix. Go ahead and unfold it. Flask 2HP. Alright, so that's Flask 2 Hand Pinch as nominated by Joseph Hodgson at Joe's Grip Garage in Sydney, Australia. Hopefully, you can see that. Okay, so the pinch event for Worldwide Grip Battle will be two hands pinch on the flask. Mathematically, I don't know how that wouldn't have gotten picked. Why? Because there were like, I don't know, six, eight nominations just for the flask. I think finishers going to get picked too because there was like two in a row. Yes. All right. Mix it up. Grab one out. I picked this one. Okay. Finish ball. Just like I said that it was going to get picked. All right. <laughs> so in the first lift, the first selection of the miscellaneous category will be finish ball, Finland. <laughs> what? Imagine it didn't hit record. <laughs> no, I, it's alive, so. All right. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. One hand flask. Okay, so we've already selected the pinch, so let's put that one over there. Oh, I'll show that what it was. One hand flask pinch, as suggested by Glenn Hunter in Melbourne, Australia. But 
but I already dug pinches. So you can. We're not doing full you know, pinches. Mix it up. Oh my gosh. Another one flask, hand flask. One hand flask. It was by Glenn Crutley in Melbourne, Australia. Are they the same person? No, they have different last names, and one is for like It's entirely possible that I transferred incorrect information for the city on, on that one, but uh, I don't believe so. The events are definitely accurate. Okay? Oh my gosh. Two hand pinch flask. Okay, two hand pinch flask from Michael Wilfong, Palouse Grip Sport Gym in Spokane, Washington. Put that off to the side. Ready? A lot of these are pinch. Oh my gosh, two hand flask left. Two hand <laughs> flask left. This was from Ari Talonen in Harvinpa, Finland. That's a lot of pinches. Grab a thick bar, Jace. I'm trying. Okay, three inch trilobite from Thomas Larson in Norway. That will be the thick bar event. Let me go ahead and write this down. So thick bar, and three inch trilobite. And finish ball. Finish ball. And now we just need one more miscellaneous. So now the next miscellaneous implement that is picked will be the fourth and final event. In worldwide grip metal. It's another Two flask. Two hands flask pitch. That one's from Arto Jeronen in Lumaki, Finland. I'm probably slaughtering these city names. Okay, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm going to pick miscellaneous this time. Hub. Hub. Okay, so there we have it. Hub event from Emmanuel Marisas at Dynamo Alliance Gym in Athens, Greece. So there you have it, the fourth event of World Wide Grip Battle will be the hub from Iron Mind. Um, Worldwide Federation. In addition to this, take note, these will all be crossbar lifts part of the selection process involved no gripper events and no lockout events no gripper events because of variation in grippers no lockout events due to variation in judging styles so we've taken those off the table these are all crossbar lifts and these will be very easy to judge i believe and uh, i think we'll make for a great fair contest and uh, I'm gonna actually throw in a fifth event that does not count for the contest at all just for fun for bragging rights shits and giggles it's going to be inch dumbbell high pull max height onto a box or platform and I'll be having videos showing how I trained this today coming up on the YouTube channel soon this is a, an event that I last held in 2015 or 2016 at one of my other February contests. And I just want to run it again, throw it out there to see what everybody can produce. I'll have complete rules for all the events, including inch bell high pull um, available for all the promoters very soon. If anyone has any questions on anything that we did here today, then please feel free to leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe and give it one of these. Give it one of these, not one of those. No, no, no. You want a big one, not like mine. Right. Kind. Nothing like this. Nothing like that. You want a big one like this. And I think that's it. Is that it, Jace? Yeah. All right. So run down the events one more time, Jace. What do we got? Okay. So for thick bar, you have three inches. For pinch, you have flask and pinch. For miscellaneous, you have the hub. And for the 
last miscellaneous, you have finish ball. Finish ball. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. If anyone is, if anyone is unhappy with the events, you don't want to run the contest, there's no hard feelings. If anyone sees this, learns about it now, and wants to run a contest, come on aboard. I'll get you information about the contest as soon as I possibly can. And if anyone is a competitor and wants to compete, then surely we can find a location that's pretty close to you. And you can come and have fun on the day of the event. The, day, the date is February 5th, 2022, and we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Jace. Okay. See ya. Bye. You're falling open.